Latest news on the Fat Cat case, the sister admits to causing cyber violence, there's a scripting crew behind it. In the end, what methods did Fat Cat's sisters use to direct Chinese public opinion against Tan Truck cyber violence? Therefore, the case of a young man named Liu who allegedly committed suicide after his girlfriend deceived him about his feelings and took more than 500,000 yuan, about 1.8 billion VND, on April 11th in Chongqing has aroused the Chinese public's concern. Ex-girlfriend of Fat Cat didn't scam him. By Tanning Zi and Deng Rui in Chongqing, China Daily, updated, May 21, 2024, 932. Chinese authorities have cleared the ex-girlfriend of a gamer who committed suicide in April, finding no evidence of financial wrongdoing. Lu Jia, 21, known online as Fat Cat, took his own life in the Yangtze River after breaking up with his girlfriend, surnamed Tan, 27. The case gained national attention after his sister, Lu Yi, accused the ex-girlfriend of defrauding her brother. An investigation by the Nanan District Public Security Bureau concluded Sunday that Lu and Tan were in a genuine relationship for over two years, during which time they shared finances and planned a future together. The police found no proof that Tan fabricated facts or defrauded Lu. Following mediation, Tan reconciled with Lu's parents and repaid any financial discrepancies. Police closed the case against Tan on May 11, and Louis acknowledged the decision. However, the investigation revealed that Louis manipulated online discourse after her brother's death. She posted private messages and financial transactions between Lu and Tan on Douyin, the Chinese version of the TikTok video sharing platform. Louis also used fake accounts to comment on posts and sway discussions while memorializing her brother. She encouraged others to reveal Tan's personal information, leading to online harassment and threats. Louis admitted to these actions, and police are considering further charges based on their investigation. The Fat Cat incident has sparked discussions about relationships and online behavior. Public opinion should not override legal judgment, China Women's News commented Monday.